Here's my original uh, strobe uh, kit that I made, um, the prototype. Uh, it always got is an Arduino Nano. It's got a uh, MOSFET. It's got a voltage regulator to power the uh, the Arduino itself. And there's two LEDs um, in parallel there. Now I further improved it, and this is the final prototype, I suppose. Um, it's using a DigiSpark. Um, it's still got a regulator in there, and there's the MOSFET and the two LEDs on there. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you how to make uh, it's going to be a single LED uh, strobe light. So the first thing you'll need is Arduino. Now that was the original one I used which is the Arduino uh, Nano um, which I think is a bit too big so you got the Arduino Pro Mini uh, that's a 5 volt I think it is or you've also got the DigiSpark now I think the DigiSpark is actually going to be the best and when I did it on that one it fits quite nicely on there anyway so I'm going to be using the DigiSpark now you'll also need a regulator now these come in various sizes and shapes and everything else they come on single chip uh, but basically you need 5 volt to uh, power that so I'm going to use that one and you also need obviously an LED this is uh, one of I'm going to reuse it um, and one thing to bear in mind you can't solder onto the back purely because it's made of aluminium so or aluminum in America so you need one of those and you also need a MOSFET now usually on MOSFETs you've got three pins um, the three pins are you've got the gate the drain and the source now the gate goes to the control pin on the Arduino which basically fires it uh, the drain is the output to the LED and then the source goes to your battery. And the way you wire it up, um, the positive from the battery goes to the positive on the LED. That's the first thing. So you find out, I don't know which one it is, but it doesn't matter. It's on the other side anyway. Uh, positive from the battery goes to the positive on the LED. And then you've got the negative from the battery goes to the source pin, which is the right. So the negative on the battery goes to the right pin and then you've got the drain pin on the MOSFET which is the center pin which goes to the negative side of the LED and then obviously the left hand pin goes to the gate pin or the control pin on your Arduino it's basically as simple as that and obviously in between we're going to have to put a, uh, a regulator to power this because obviously these they don't run on 14 volts or whatever and these MOSFETs that I've chosen they're actually um, I think they're 80 amp 60 volt uh, with a 5 volt gate so what I'm going to do to cut down size is just take this heat sink off there it's just not needed that doesn't even get in the slightest bit warm right, I've soldered the two in parallel now um, so what you've got to do you have to think carefully about your layout uh, but what I do is put the DigiSpark there so it, it the USB programmer protrudes um, the MOSFET is then going to go there and the regulator is going to go there so it will fit on there nicely so the first thing I've got to do is put as I'm looking at it now the right hand pin has got to go to P0. I've soldered the MOSFET, the gate pin, to P0 on the DigiSpark. So what I'm going to do now on these, I think what I'll do is I'll bend those tags up to make it um, make it slimmer. Because when you put that on there, you now that's the exact size of the the LED itself. So I think I'll bend those up now. now the cable I use is just standard 22 AWG silicon wire. Um, so what I've done is I've, I've attached the positive side of the 
uh, regulator to the 5 volt pin on the DigiSpark. Now uh, the next thing I do is solder that wire to the positive and the negative on the regulator so as I can put some power in it and uh, check to see what voltage it's actually pumping out because I think it's set to 14 volts or something like that. I've checked that the voltage regulator is pumping out 5 volts and I've connected the positive and negative to the um, DigiSpark so I know now that it's safe to use. I uh, never trust those regulators, never. I uh, always check them to make sure the voltage, even though it may save, if you get a regulator that says 5 volts, make sure it is 5 volts. Because I've actually had some that have um, gone over volt and burnt things out. So now that's all wired up. I mounted a, a layer of uh, double sided insulating tape on the back of the LC, of, on the back of the LEDs and I've mounted, now stuck that down obviously when you are doing this you need to make sure that it is insulated and also make sure that you've got no stray solder blobs sticking out the back so it shorts it out I've soldered the centre pin which is the drain pin um, on the MOSFET to the negative side of the LED rail negative centre pin MOSFET to there. The positive side that I soldered to the voltage regulator as you can see now loops back and goes on to the positive side of the LED just to make sure yes so now I'm going to solder the negative side to the right hand pin uh, which is the source pin on the MOSFET and also loop it back so as I can uh, attach the battery and then that should be it. The negative wire that I've taken off the that I originally soldered to the voltage regulator I've taken a spur off as you can see around there and it goes to the right hand pin on the MOSFET and I've also heat shrunk it because it's very very close to that terminal. Um, so yeah, so hopefully now what I'll do is I'll test it first and then I'll cut myself a, 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 a strip of clear heat shrink and just heat shrink it onto there. All done. As you can see it's running directly off this 4S battery. Um, it's been on now for, I don't know, two hours. doesn't get warm or barely warm now I have got some other stuff coming which is going to make this a lot smaller the AT Tiny um, processor I've got some of those uh, bare, uh, bare chips coming I've also got some smaller regulators because it is a bit overkill um, and also I've got some uh, smaller MOSFETs coming now if anybody wants one of these for my regular subscribers and regular commented, commenting people I may supply one to them if they want one um, just drop me an email drop me a message below and I'll uh, get in touch with you brilliant usually usually on MOSFETs you have Three. Yeah, okay. Now the source has to go to the negative. I've soldered the negative pin on the LED. Oh, f I've soldered the negative pin on the LED. So for this project, I'm going to use um, Arduino Nano. Does that look like an Arduino Nano to you? No, oh, no, no, Arduino Nano to you, Tony? Does it? No, it looks more like a f***ing toaster. <laughs>